Alright, everybody, we'll come with the uh, next video. I know Nathan, I saw Nathan had this, and I've been trying to get it for ever, too. And I finally got one. Sacred Mushroom. This is a killer album. I wish they would uh, repress this, because it's just an awesome, awesome album. And Nate, Nate, Nathan, man, he got it for cheap in Vegas. But uh, this, I wish they'd reprint this. It's such a great album. This is a uh, sad one and done American Dream. This one, Todd Rundgren happened to uh, produce these guys too. But uh, American Dream, I just listened to it. Good, good job. Got the Young Sound of 1968. I think uh, the reason why I got this is because it had the uh, couple songs of the animated egg on it. And let's see who else. Uh, that's about it. String for Young Lovers, the other song, but Animated Egg is the only reason why I really bought this album. 68. Got uh, the Love Generation with a uh, montage. It's in the, on the Imperial. I think Kurt had this where I saw it first on. A uh, little Mama and Papa's. On Dunhill. Great album. We got the uh, Elephant Candy, The Fun and Games, this is on Uni too. I just can't get enough of this, psych. <laughs> this stuff is awesome. We got uh, Atomic Rooster on Electric. Electric. First uh, time at Rooster Island, I had it's pretty good. Still trying to get trying to get the other ones. It's uh it's a reissue. I think it's on yeah Sunbeam Records. Uh, it's uh, reality second hand. Really good stuff. I got this. I guess nobody wanted it. I got it really cheap. So. <laughs> but uh, I thought it was a really awesome album. Alright, here's, uh, like I said, that French company have been putting out these wrist ears. Uh, that's Damien, which is really <clears throat> Bubble Puppy, renamed. <laughs> I guess they had some legal issues or something with using Bubble Puppy again, so they just changed their name to Damien and came out with another album. But uh, good, good psych stuff. We got gun sight with gun, or gun with gun sight. This is uh, the reissue I got. I've been trying to get their other album, but uh, it's pretty tough. They used to have this reissue like this, but uh, where I get my cheaper stuff here, the newer stuff, they ran out, so I'll try to chase it down somewhere else. Society of Seven. I think that yet it's on uni. You got to uh, open up and and live. Pretty cool album. <laughs> this one I've been tracked down, been trying to track down forever, and you know, it's Phantoms Divine Comedy Part One. I mean. A lot of the reviews I read on this, you know, they kind of compared this guy to Jim Morrison. But, uh, I, it's, it's really good. I saw it on YouTube, uh, this one guy in Sweden. Um, has an awesome, awesome video that goes through a bunch of American psych that's really, really hard to find. And this is, 
do, as you'll see later, I'm going to do some CDs that I got that, I mean, you just can't, to find them on, he has them, LPs, but to find them anywhere around here has been tough, so this is one of them I finally got. Another reissue, I got uh, Blue Things. Let's see, what was this originally on? RCA. RCA. Another little cheap reissue. And yet, this one uh, is on Vault, which uh, a couple of stuff that I've been trying to get were on Vault Records. It's tough. They didn't, no one of those record companies didn't sign these guys, but didn't have a lot of money to promote them, and so they won and done, and they were gone. Walker says tricycle. This is, these guys are good. This was originally on date. Like I said, number reissue that I got. I think vinyl.com you can find a lot of these that I get. But you end up paying probably about double for what I pay. Another reissue of the head shop on Epic. I know the original like this is like a hundred bucks, so no way you can find that if you get lucky. Yep, there's another one of them albums that I got. I've got, uh, I think, two or three of them. This is uh, them realities again. On Clement, the French, French label that's reissued in a lot of. It's hard to find stuff. But this was Van Morrison's original group, and then uh, when he left, they kind of went strictly psych and hard rock. So uh, I like those albums. I'm trying to get all of the ones that they produced without Van Morrison. The last nickel, Michael. This so, uh, is mainstream. What's your mainstream? Usually, if anything I see in mainstream or any of the, those kind of like uni or anything like that, I usually get because it's typically the stuff I like. Let's take. There's another one on mainstream. It's Henry Tree, Electric Holy Man. Stuff. I got Kensington Market, Aardvark, there's a group called Aardvark them. I got to uh, wait for their CD to come in, but uh, I think German or something, but they, I mean, it's, they came out with a couple albums, they're really good, but trying to find the LP is, you're paying a couple hundred bucks at least. This is one band, this guy's on Verb. I've got uh, the original. This is a uh, this, uh, reissue. I think it was on Arkham, but uh, Fluff. These guys are from Boston. Another, just one album, come out one album. But uh, man, they were, they were good. I really liked them. So I've got two copies of this now. I've got the original. And then this reissue right here. You got Happer Shop in the colored coat. Oh, this is one of those metal ones I've been trying to hunt down and finally I just I think Sundays was having a sale or something. And this was like half price or something, so I ended up picking it up there. Now these guys, I've got two of their records, and I'm trying to get the third one, which is the hardest one to get. It's one, uh, it's a witchcraft or something, and Tyler Levin is very good, but the coven, it goes on the MGM. Really, really good stuff. Hopefully so I can get that other one complete. <coughs> Yeah, Soft Machine on the ABC Pro, that's a reissue. I got a, I think a couple of 
couple of soft machines. Good stuff. And here's that uh, Blood in the Snow, the other cousin. This one's the second hardest one to get. That's the other one you I can probably see plenty of them on eBay and other places, but this one's a little tough too. Now I got to, uh, I think these guys, um, <laughs> Good Blues, Hard Rock Blues Band. They came out, uh, I think, with two albums. I got both of them. But yeah, these. And I have two copies of this now. <clears throat> but uh, it took me a while to get this one. There's another one. It seemed like it was tough to get for a while. You are, you'd hardly ever see it. The Leaves, Hey Joe, which uh, Jimi Hendrix ended up doing. used to be out there from a radio station. <clears throat> this one's uh, Genesis in the beginning. So there was a band called Genesis before Genesis. But uh, it's on Mercury. More good stuff. This one's hard hard to find. So good luck. <laughs> I just love sculpture. I just love these guys. I think they have one more album that I need to get of theirs. But uh, forms and feelings. That's awesome. At least the radio station want a promo. But uh, man, I just love love sculpture. Dave Edmonds kicks it. There's that other album album I told you about. I think this one was on uh, the Fillmore label. But man, this is just some killer blues, blues rock. These guys are good. <laughs> Alright, um, I'll close this one off and uh, start up another one. So, I'm going to keep rolling all night till I catch up. I've been watching everybody's videos, and uh, but just had, had no time to uh, sit down and make uh, anything of my own. So uh, keep keep popping them out there, everybody, and I'll keep watching them. Thanks.